Do you believe people should be rejected for not having the same beliefs? Definitely not. No single person should ever be rejected under any circumstances, with the exception of perhaps one, and that is when they have um, harmed other people's will, they need to be shown that that particular desire to harm another person's will was out of harmony with love. Rather than rejecting them, they need to be it needs to be demonstrated to them how that was out of harmony with love, and they need to be restricted from those particular practices. So many people in uh, the human race now um, already do that in terms of most governments do this. For example, when it comes to murder, most governments on the planet accept that murder is not the correct action to take towards another person. And whenever a person does take that action, they are generally restricted uh, in some way, usually by being placed in a prison and so forth, and restricted from taking that action again. And hopefully until the time that they've recovered from the reason of why they wanted to take the action. Of course, unfortunately on the planet, there's not much uh, focus on recovering the person, uh, but rather on punishing the person. God's focus though is on recovering the person. So with regard to ever there being an excommunication, if you like, of an individual from a religion, every time we excommunicate somebody from something, we no longer give them the opportunity to grow. What we need to do is always give them the opportunity to grow. And that is going to mean not excommunication, but rather addressing the issue that's out of harmony with love in the individual and addressing that issue sometimes firmly if need be, but certainly not with any desire for punishment or violence. So every time a person is excommunicated from a religion, I believe that the religion itself is just demonstrating its own cult-like behaviour. And there are many mainstream religions on this planet who do this, and this would indicate that many mainstream religions are cultish in their particular uh, desires because they wish to control the actions of the individual, uh, even if the actions of the individual have still been loving, but not what they believe is pious. So I feel quite strongly that the important factor should be whether the individual is practicing love or not. If the individual is not practicing love, then certainly there needs to be some kind of restriction of their behavior. But we would never take those restrictive actions in a place of rejection or, or a place of rage or anger towards them or a desire to punish them. What we would do is we'd desire to correct them by demonstrating love to them, but also demonstrating to them when they are out of harmony with love themselves. Mm.